So Gaffer, a 7-0 victory today against Parkgate. Just firstly, your reflections uh, on, on both halves of football there. Well, as you know and I know, Kill, never about, never about how many goals we score when we play Parkgate. It's about showing them the respect that they deserve the people at Parkgate. And we, we thank them hugely for for the way that certainly I've seen since I was here the first time and in my years here and then back again, they're wonderful people. So to get the opportunity to see, was it, you know, 12, 1500 Millers fans come through the gate and um, it's, it's fantastic, you know. So the um, the performance with the lads was good. Um, we started off really bright, we moved the ball well, we did second half. Get a little bit difficult as the, as the grass got drier in the evening, so sort I of killed the game a little bit, but I thought we played some some really good bits and some some players really coming back on a focused approach. Some players take a little while to get there. And obviously, you say that the results not or not the main thing from today. The player fitness obviously taking precedent. But to have three strikers on the score sheet must have been nice from your point of view. Yeah, brilliant. You know, uh, Big Josh was was written off, wasn't he? And I, I believe him. He's a player. There's a player in there for sure. Top player. And. Um, that's not to say he'll be he'll be when we go through the summer. He was transfer listed for a reason. But great to see him, his purpose, his runs, his goals was good. Um good to see Big Easy slip one in as well. Brilliant. And um and Sam, you know, Sam's come back in really good shape. He he's got the the rewards tonight. He, he felt razor sharp. He looked razor sharp as well. But I think it was all round. Brilliant to see Liam Kelly control the middle. Second half, Chris T A controlling the middle. Uh, McDonald running off um on the left-hand side there, running off Chris T and um, Joe Pearl and uh, and all the rough run off and really, really good defensively, really strong. Whatever side we look at, first or second half. I wanted to mention on Bay. It's always nice for a striker to, to to get amongst the goals and for him to score four and look as sharp as he did. It can only be do do good things for his confidence. Yeah, listen, Sam's come back in really good shape. I told him at the end of the season that he needs to be in better shape. He needs to go ahead and do some work. And the, and the proof's in the eyes. The proof's in what you see when you walk in. The first day the boys reported back, I said to my staff straight away, look at Sam Limby. You know, he's come back in good shape. And um, he has to he has to continue that. He has to develop that. You know, we've not seen three players tonight. So we're in a really strong position. You know, we've we've not seen Jamie McCart is missing. Sean Williams is missing. John o. Clark Harris is missing. Minor things. They, they could have been out there for that game and it's where we have to go and get the points. Uh, but my decision is we'll, we'll look at them next week and if a game we'll make sure that because I think if there is a criticism last season when players um, highlighted or spoke to the medical staff a bit minor things, then they were asked to go and train and go and play and that created a problem because then they break down and get injured. So I think a couple of those lads were really disappointed when I said they're not getting on the pitch tonight. The, the bombs, so to speak, especially John o. Um but they understand it's for the benefit of them going forward. And, um, this has been the first full week of pre-season, I believe. So to end it with uh, with a game must have been nice. But have you been impressed with what you've seen so far from the group? Yeah, yeah fantastic. I mean, the amount of running they've done has been incredible. Sharp running, good running. The boys are boys are in really good shape. They said it tonight. You know, they felt really comfortable in terms of getting the second wind um, in respect of recovery runs. Um, and it's really good to see. It's um, we're in a positive place, so we'll, we're back in tomorrow. The boys will work hard tomorrow, so it's another hard work day for them. But then they'll have a day or two, like go and spend time with their families. That's massively important to me. They're going to spend time with their families, then we'll be up to St Andrews and, and then we'll work hard again, but we'll do it in a different way. We'll be doing a lot of football, we'll be doing a lot of technical work, we'll be doing a lot of video work. They'll, they'll love every minute of it, and of course, they'll have the obligatory night out with the squad, and I'm sure they're looking forward to that at the end of what will be a, another great week for us. And a word for the Millers fans today who, who turned out. I know you were uh, loads wearing their their new kits. There seems to be a real excitement ahead of the new season. The tone is buzzing. You know, I, I was there. I said to you, talking to a chairman. I pulled in for fuel this morning. We we were goalkeeping coach and we went off in to pay for some fuel and get some water. And my God, it, it took me 25 minutes to get back in the car. And that's, that's just enthusiast Millers. Uh, they've got season tickets. Are they going to go and get one? They went before. Some have said it tonight. Just after the game, it's. It's brilliant. The, the town is really behind it. We've got to be. This is a real tough one. You know, the Birmingham's, the Huddersfield's, the Barnsley's, the Charlton's, the Bolton's, the Peterborough's. I could keep going. We're all united. We're in there too. And um, just touching upon next week's trip to Scotland, what what is it that you're, you're hoping to get out of that? Well, the facilities will be fantastic. And that's why that's why I think it's Dortmund, Bruce Dortmund, follow us in. I think it's why two Premier Leagues and clubs in Scotland are there now. It's why David Moyes takes West Ham or Everton, every club he's Manchester United, every club he's managed, Sir Alex takes them there. Um, 
the the pitches are absolute carpets. The climate is like here; it's, it's similar to Yorkshire, so it's it's normal temperatures. Yes, of course, I could have made the decision as as the manager or the head coach to to say we want to go to Spain or Portugal. I'm sure some of the boys that like the <laughs> sun would like that, uh, but my decision is we'll go up there. We get the we got world class facilities. We get world class playing surfaces, um, and everything to to bring us back here another step forward. We've got five, six weeks to go, so we're in brilliant shape.